Okay, so coming off that uh, President's Cup, mm-hmm. uh, one of the tournaments that we we long we we long wanted to see, mm-hmm. uh, simultaneous to the Singapore Cup also. But this time, it, this is the first time that the Philippines actually participated in that uh, <clears throat> tournament. So we have here uh, Jeff. <laughs> so Misa will be our guest co-host yes, for today, yeah, as usual. Just, so yeah, always, uh, just this wasn't uh, planned. Uh, he just presented himself as usual. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to. Of course, Angelo's here also. Yeah, Angelo's here also. Angelo, help us ask a few questions. No a few, a few. <laughs> yeah, just a few. I think there, we've listed a lot around yes, one, uh, around yes. 50. <laughs> or Jeff here. So number one, uh, Jeff, what happened? <laughs> yeah. So. What I mean, run, I mean, the we, of the game. So. Yeah, we started our first game really good. Even yeah, the team was not that strong, but still, you know, it was our first time that we play outside the country, yeah, not really outside the country, but against a team from outside the country. Think, yes. And we had a yeah a good experience with that one, but then yeah, the second game, I think yeah, experience maybe mm-hmm. mistakes. Yeah. We we are controlling the game, and then yeah, just one mistake and kill a game, and then yeah. Mm-hmm. The third game, yeah. If I need to be honest, we had no chance. Why? The team was just stronger than us. Uh-huh. Well, you were playing the defending champions, if yeah, I was. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Kyrgyzstan, no. Dordoy. Dordoy. Yeah. yeah. It was a strong. <coughs> and to be fair, this is the first time that any Philippine side has matched up with anyone from Bhutan, yes. from Pakistan, yeah. and from club, uh, club, yeah, club, club, of team. Yeah. So mm-hmm. definitely, it's a, it's a first time. I mean, mm-hmm. there, there will be jitters. For, uh, yeah. Did you experience uh, that during the, during the first game, especially? I mean. You're you playing against a foreign club already, as compared to just playing usually in the UFL. Yeah, we made history for Philippines, and yeah, I think that's something where we can be proud of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we started good, but yeah, the end was not that good. But yep, next uh-uh. time we will. Yeah, honestly, it was a, it was a, such an honor to represent Global FC as a Philippine yeah. first Philippine club yeah. who joined the President Cup was mm-hmm. such an honor, but. Unlucky we didn't qualify because of uh, you know first we played too much in artificial field and the field kind of bouncy mm. and then the second one we the second game we we had a like bad mistake of goalkeeper or I don't know maybe the lighting was not good. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, that was supposed to. Just know, he's laughing. <laughs> just yeah, no. Ah, then then <laughs> after that we we tried to do full power to win the game because. If we won the GAT game, we already qualified. But the thing is, we did over, you know, we did so much full power. And then the third game, we were tired already. Mm-hmm. Our body was so yeah, much definitely. tired. If you see the third game, we were like in 20 minutes, first 20 minutes, we did a good job. Even Cardi mm-hmm. scored the yeah. first mm-hmm. goal. Then after that, our body could not, you know, uh, Patrick Russell went out because of his, his injury. Mm-hmm. And then. I played with many like tapes, like my whole feet was taped because even Pachanga games, I didn't play. I don't wanted to play, and the coach bring me in in second half. I I was like robot. I was looking at myself. I said, my, le- is my legs. What do you call a mommy? Yeah, like a mommy. I was like full. My whole feet was yeah swollen, and then I said, this is normal. <laughs> Was this is so much. No, I think no, was my good. foot is twice the size. What's so <laughs> big? No, yeah, but in terms of experience, mm. I mean, definitely mm. you've learned a lot. I mean, yeah, it's just in a tournament like this, you cannot make mistake because if you make one mistake, they kill you directly. Mm. Now, also we now understand the level of football in yes. the Philippines compared to other countries now. Mm. I'm not saying that there are there are very good club, but we are still far from AFC Champions mm-hmm. League and AFC other like champion pl- play clubs that there are right now in Asia. So we have to do hard work more. We have to develop more football in the Philippines, yes. especially youth. And then, yeah, that's what I had experienced during this. So time. let me ask Angelo. Angelo, how would you assess? Um, <laughs> coming from the other side, from, from Meralco, right? So, <laughs> Why is he so smiling? <laughs> so <laughs> definitely, I don't think there'll be bias. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, Although oh, they're, they're all friends. They're all friends, you know, but this is a football field, you know. Yes. Well, technically, you know, it's a football <laughs> so How would you assess um, Global's uh, outing during that uh, tournament? I mean, it, it was their first tournament. Uh, playing foreign clubs already, but how would you rate them? Well, <laughs> um, I was quite surprised the first game actually. They did good. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Then the second game was also good because um, they told me they were, that team was in the final as well. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, you know, maybe they have they have a chance. But then the yeah, the last game, six one, I was like, mm -mm. how is that possible? Because Global has really good players, you know. But six one is really a lot. So that's what that's when I was thinking, yeah, Philippines still has a a, a long way to go. In fact, at the half, to be fair, when I was following, I, it was I think two one at the half. So I was like, ah, okay, pa. I mean, we can we can catch up. Yeah, Global yeah, can yeah, catch yeah, up. Yeah, and everyone, yeah. everyone was saying that, kaya pa, de ba? We can at least equalize. And I think all you guys needed was to was to equalize to advance, correct? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. To win, win. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But again, at that point, the half time, eh, two one, yeah. de ba? Anything was possible. But then again, that's why I was surprised yeah. that you know when we get too fast yeah, to because goal. more time goes out, more we get tired. Yeah. You know? That's why <laughs> the players, the, if you see the second games of. Mm. Their games, they didn't bring their first players. Mm. They yeah, just yeah. use uh, them oh, for yeah. our right. games. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So against us, even the goalkeeper was not the goalkeeper in the second game. Oh, so, so they just the reserved their yeah. energy yeah. Yeah, for yeah. that. Yeah, I'd say even the placement of the games probably was mm. really, really draining. You know, mm. yeah. consecutive games almost. So, mm. but overall, I think it is a good uh, <coughs> performance yeah. from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, as global represented the mm. Philippines. Um, into an, uh, first time to the international tournament, the AFC President's Cup. So, uh, hopefully, uh, we get more representation there. Mm -hmm. And also, at the same time, uh, here in the Philippines, we get uh, more exposure. To continental time, football. Uh, mm -hmm. To continental football. At the same time, uh, develop more in terms of mm -hmm. now we're realizing the <laughs> what's the scenario out there mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. outside of the UFL. So yeah. In fact, we, I think we still have a good chance of, although this will not be a uh, club side, we still have a good chance of getting back at the Kyrgyz because uh, <laughs> suddenly we yes. found someone uh, new to play with, right? Uh, but we'll get to that later. So at least, yes. at least it is. Uh, I think I think Jeff's uh, analysis was correct that you know it's it's actually a history starter yes. for for Philippine football. Again, this is our first time, naman kasi to get exposed to all mm. of these continental competitions. So, do you have any message to the fans huh? for for the, for those, especially those in Cebu, mm -hmm. yeah. who watch the game mm -hmm. live? So. Yeah, well, if you have, uh, yeah well, I really want to say thank you for everyone in Cebu there and also yeah there were some people from Manila they <laughs> came over to, uh, to Cebu uh, yeah you're the best eh? thank you yeah I just want to <laughs> say thing. I just want to say thank you to Global Force and Global Cebu Force all sub football supporter even Philippine football supporter UF and everyone who support Philippine football just thank you thank you very much <laughs> Just to, to wrap things up, you know, the good thing is following it over on Twitter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, a lot of the teams really behind Global during mm -hmm. that time, even. You know, there were rivals yeah. over mm -hmm. at the UFL, mm -hmm. but, you know, when they're, someone's representing the Philippines at a club level, it really brings everyone's morale up. Because, yeah. you know, you, you see Kaya supporting Global, you see Stalin, Maralco, and all those clubs, you know, supporting. And we can count on the same support again in their next, yeah, in uh, next outing, continental which be, outing, yeah. outing, which we will cover yeah. later. So anyway, for more updates on Global, especially, and all the tournaments mm -hmm. uh, that the UFL club teams are going mm -hmm. to participate in, especially on the continental level, mm -hmm. do follow us on Twitter at FTW Sports. Mm -hmm.